Next on Makosi Today. Can musicians be faithful? Musicians, yes, they can. To music. Not to women. So do you have a son? I do, yes. What would you teach them about safe sex, marriage? Safe sex and marriage. And I can't talk about Big Brother and not talk about Manetta. Did you fancy her? Who doesn't? Hello, 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 and welcome to yet another episode of Makozi Today. I have a very special guest today, and it's a very special episode because I actually get to go to his house. Now, being born of Big Brother myself, UK that is, when I come back to Africa, it only makes sense. I mingle with Big Brother royalty. Today, I'm at Rockford Josford's house, aka Rocky. We talk about hair, we talk about his five baby mamas. Well, actually he said between one to five and his five children. Stay tuned, don't go away. He is one of the most controversial artists in Zimbabwe. A father of five with five different women. A gifted performer, singer and songwriter. At 15, Rocky dropped out of school and pursued a music career. Inspired by his uncle, who was a drummer for the music icon Oliver Mtukudzi, he fell in love with the stage. With his voice electric and enchanting, he quickly became a household name and the face of Zimbabwean urban grooves. In 2012, Rocky entered Big Brother Stargate, becoming very popular with the show's viewers. But he made a bad move. After a fight with fellow Zimbabwean Maneta, he was evicted from the Big Brother house. He was devastated and his fans outraged. To his surprise, the rising star had won the hearts of many across the country. Rocky talks to Makosi about life after Big Brother. Where did Chidzoka come from? A computer. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Uh -huh. But where did Chidzoka come from? Um, Chidzoka is about the feeling of being away from home if you travel a lot and then you write songs about that on one of the travels thinking about home and stuff yeah we can't talk about rocky and not talk about big brother yeah big brother what what made you do it i mean who does big brother right yeah um well i wanted to get some publicity for my music and my art and stuff and I was hoping that no matter how far it went, I would still be able to eat off it. Did you audition? I did the year before. Right. Yeah, and then, you know, I didn't go. And then I was called up the year later. And I can't talk about Big Brother and not talk about Manetta. Let's talk about that. What happened? Mm, I don't remember. Did you fancy her? Who doesn't? <laughs> Did you fancy her? Oh, she's a pretty girl. I'm a boy that likes things, yeah. So do you think you were frustrated because she wasn't reciprocating? No. Your advances? No. It was all acting. It was like television. And it worked if people uh, still think it was a part of our character. Right. Like, those things are, like, how we are, like, in real life. Like, she actually talks like that. <laughs> okay. You guys still speak? Um, we didn't speak before. And after that, um, great meeting opportunity. We receded back into our normal places. So, we didn't speak before. We, we don't run into each other a lot. I don't even know where she lives. Right. I doubt she knows where I live. Would you do Big Brother again? Yeah. More money for the fam. Did you make a lot of money out of it? I made publicity. Um, one or two people started to know about um, my arts and my works and stuff and you know, got me shows and that's good for the fam as far as I'm concerned. Do you, let's now talk about your music. Mm -hmm. Do you think Zimbabwe has a music industry? Zimbabwe has always had a music industry. Just depends um, if people can really see it and where it's existent. Yeah. 
for a long time it existed around LPs and records, and right. after that cassettes, mm -hmm. and after that CDs, and we are probably that generation that's after CDs, so people are going to have to find where it exactly exists, where music is being sold now. We were talking earlier about inspiration. What inspires your music, your videos? Do you go somewhere? Do you meditate? You know, your dances? People know Rocky can dance. Um, the truth is inspiration is, is a form in itself that people tap into, dependent on your inspiration. Your, your, um, your drive for whatever it is that you want. You know, you, you want to make a really good song, you have to tap into the best songwriters on earth or whatever, you know, and channel them, things like that. Most of the music that you make make hits like Chizoka, Seiko, so you're really famous. Do you look at yourself as a role model in the Zimbabwean or should I say African society? Well, for a long time, um, I've always been a father or brother figure for a lot of people. So, yeah, I have produced a lot of the music from the beginning, which is probably why I have so much experience. And if I'm involved because I'm a person who works behind the scenes, it's obviously going to go well. You say father. How many children do you have? I do say father. I have five. You married? Unfortunately, I have not found the one. What about the mother of your children? Is is it one woman? Mm, no, it's not. You know, with travel and um, being in different places or entertainment, as we would say, a life behind a life, a pseudo life. You're going to live many lives. And in those different lives, you're going to meet different people. You know, and you're going to interact with different people. Now, I'm always looking for the one, <laughs> right. you know, so in all that, you know, I can't say that um, they're not the one, but I think the one is my children now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Found the one, I think. So how many, they call them baby mamas, do you have? Baby mamas, uh, American colloquial. Uh, don't know. <laughs> you don't know? Uh, well, with five children, they all have to probably have come from somewhere between five and one. It can't be more than five. Definitely can't. So we're looking at around that estimate, depending how good your math is. From one to five. There you go. It could be two. Can musicians be faithful? Musicians, yes, they can to music not to women not to anyone or anything why do you think so what sort of a musician is faithful to something else before the music they're not a musician it's like a hippocratic oath you sign it to say that if you are sick i'm going to take care of you now musician has another different sort of oath to entertainment and to their art throughout and out. Now, you're going to meet different people that have different interests and try and make you pursue different loves, different things. But your one true love is your art. So do you have a son? I do, yes. Two. What would you teach them about safe sex, marriage? Safe sex and marriage. Well, it's uh, something that I haven't totally yet figured mm -hmm. out. But... The little that I do know is shop around a little, otherwise you'll end up with five children, son. <laughs> <laughs> How do you shop around? You know, take your time. You know, choose a, a, a good life partner, someone that complements your many strengths. And if you haven't grown all of your strengths, then take your time to find your strength so do you have any new <laughs> albums yeah music videos well i have new music that i'm trying to release this year i hope to finish by my musical I want to do um harare um urban music call 
about you know Harare urban music Cow. Cow. yeah like who are you doing that with um in the field of musicians we're finding musicians who can do both music and dance or a bit of theater multifaceted sort of artists so right now I'm still looking through the cast because some people are really good at music some people are really good at acting some people are good at dancing and you want people who can carry it throughout do we have audition dates so maybe I can turn up we do indeed we're gonna have a reading uh, soon but you know with musicals not a reading it's a singing <laughs> right, yeah. yeah so uh, maybe next week yeah. I love the painting. That's you, right? Yeah, that, that's me on the painting. Who did it? Um, I run a um, arts center. Center is too big. Spot. So I train different forms of art. Right. Um, so this guy is a visual artist. Uh, he's one of my first ever, ever students like since high school. Mm -hmm. So he says, I owe you a portrait and this is the true forms I see of you, you know. So I couldn't exactly argue with his form and seeing. Oh, these are three Rockies, right? Forms, he said forms, forms. yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's art. Yeah. So, with five children, do you remember their names? Yes. They're, they're named after really important dates in my life. Uh, or significant things to do with, you know, one's called sky, uh, the sky obviously, mm -hmm. significance, relevance. Uh, one is called Rockford. That's you. Is, yeah. The second. Then one is called Josfat. Mm -hmm. the, that's you again. Uh, Yeah, that's my grandfather's name. Mm. Then another one is called Joy or Minnie. And then another one is called Dawn. Okay. Yeah. Why five children? Well, it was at a point where when my dad died, I was left the only boy in a family of three. Like the other two were girls and my older sister was married and she had a kid of her own. And literally left me as the only person with my surname on earth. And because of that, it really didn't matter what anyone thought. So are you going to have more? Um, boys, yeah. <laughs> so, like, let's say you have five more girls and you're looking for a boy, you'll keep going until you have boys? I probably am not going to have any more children. Um, I already have, you know, the torch bearers and stuff. That's what we like to call them. You know, it's not like, I'm, I know people are going to go like, doesn't he have uncles or, exactly. or, or cousins? I do, but they're not my brother. They're not the child of my father and my father had a different surname from his siblings so it isolates me a little bit you want to keep the legacy going yeah I hate being isolated I want there to be more around me okay let's go back to your music how many albums do you have to date to date albums registered to Rockford would be two why so, should I say, little or so many? Like, um, depending on whether you think the, the glass is half full or half, half empty. Half empty, yeah. Well, it depends at which angle you're looking and the shape of your glass. If it's a simple glass, like a tunnel, uh, hollow, yeah. you know. But if it's, for example, let's say the cameraman, how many productions have they done to date? Do those all have their name on them? Okay. You see. Mm -hmm. And I've been an instrumentalist and songwriter for the whole survival of my career. So every once in a while you want to do songs about you. And, you know, feel like you want people to know what you sound like. But the rest of the time it's for other people, other places in the industry. Please. Is there any music in Africa that inspires you? We're talking about inspiration. I know we're heading towards that, but mm -hmm. let's talk about African music. Okay. I see P Square on your wall. Yeah. We started out with that hairstyle, and then we <laughs> initially it was gonna look like that, but yeah, 
Okay, let's discuss the hair though. Like, what inspired? It's quite precise. Yeah. Um. Well, it's the same things, the same inspirations for everything else. Uh, pop music, you know, um, a bit of the rock uh, lifestyle going on here and there, and then visual artists. They're gonna make your own version of a cool thing. So this is what I'm wearing right now. No, but where did it come from? Well, I feel like that... Make me understand how you, one would wake up mm -hmm. and, you know, grow their hair so long and then decide to cut parts, bits of it. Um, I grew it with the intention of making it sort of look like this. I actually want, like, less locks on my hair. Join these up so that I look like that guy. Yeah, the, the guy with the Sonic, or one of them guys. The hedgehog. Yeah, like with the with, yeah yeah pointy hair, because it's art, and because I have the freedom to draw my character, unlike other people who can't, or don't have have that as a limitation. You know, I can draw the character that I would like to look like, embody on the stage, and in the other things. What do you think about grass? Oh, wow, well, it's green from what I hear. And it's green on other sides. What do you mean? You know what <laughs> I mean. <laughs> uh, you know exactly what I mean. I, well, I think that um, doctors are going to prescribe for you medicines that you're going to have to keep coming back for. And if there's any grass that you might boil, like lemongrass tea here, moringa, for certain things, It was a hot sunny day from a school holiday And that was the day that you came round my way to Kura The champions on a walk me And they But that's not why I call Anyway, while well, it's a good thing then We never have to search for love again I never knew I would find it I never thought to look where you were hiding But when you step in the room Okay, out of every interview that I do, personally, I'm inspired by something or someone. And when I heard that I was talking to a kid today, when I actually heard I was coming to his house today, I was thinking, oh my God, I don't want to come across judgmental about his five children and four baby mamas. But you see, I'm actually, I've actually learned something from him. I've actually been inspired to say, you can't judge someone before you know them. Everybody does something for a reason. As far as Rocky is concerned, he's creating a legacy and he doesn't want to be isolated. That's why he's had five baby mamas. And when I asked him about his first love, he says it's his music. And it makes total sense to me. So until next time, take care of yourself and take care of each other. Next on Makosi Today. Hey! Hey you! How are you? 
I can't believe I'm at Peter and Paul's house. Welcome to a humble home. I tweet about anything that becomes new. You you put a tweet about Eliona and you put no. music to Bobby. That's what I'm saying. But I put you're a superstar. I, what do you expect? 